AI has been out for a while now, and in this video, I'm gonna share with you the AI tools that I have found to be the most useful when it comes to providing video and podcast production services. My name is Cree, and on this channel, I talk about tech with context. Now, this week, we're going to dive into the world of AI tools, and I wanna share with you the tools that I'm using on a regular basis. Now, there are a ton of tools out there, I'm going to just share five with you today, but these are the ones that I have found to, number one, make my workflows more efficient and allow me to be more productive when it comes to providing video and podcast production services to clients. So keep that in mind. Also, this video isn't sponsored, uh, but the links down below are affiliate links to some of the tools that I'm using. And of course, you know, clicking and using those do help support the channel. So I invite you to do so, to go check them out. But uh, either way, let's uh, put all that aside and get into the tools. This first tool is pretty straightforward. It's called YT Summary. And what it's going to do, it's going to create a summary of your YouTube video. So all you have to do is place the link to your video right here uh, in the tool and it's going to do its thing on the back end and give you a summary of what the video is about. Now, I like this tool because first of all, it's affordable. If I just need a summary or to get an idea of what a video is all about, then I'm going to turn to this tool. Uh, keep in mind with any AI tool, whatever the output is, you do want to read it and uh, chances are you're going to make some adjustments, but this just helps you to uh, provide that summary, provide you with a first step to uh, creating a summary that you ultimately want to end up with and some ideas of things and topics you should cover. So this next one is called Koala Writer. This tool gives you a number of different options to create content from, including content from scratch, like blog posts and Amazon product descriptions. But the option that I use the most is this one, it's the YouTube video to blog post. So if I have a client where I'm creating a YouTube video, I post that online and then I can create a blog post from it. Uh, what I normally do is I'll create an outline first, I'll add or subtract the types of topics I wanna to cover in the blog post. That gives me the opportunity to kind of pare down this article as much as possible. And then just like any other AI, um, you know, I'm not 100% dependent on whatever the output is, but I'm using this as a solid foundation to create a blog post. I do a little bit of rewriting, but for the most part, this, this gives me a solid foundation to write a blog post that um, I can embed a YouTube video into and post on a website for a client. If you haven't caught on to the theme yet, a lot of the tools I'm using are related to YouTube. And uh, most of the videos I create, they end up on YouTube in one form or another. And then I can use these tools to create additional content for marketing purposes, depending on um, whatever I'm doing with that video. But when it comes to creating videos for YouTube, then this next tool is called vidIQ. I use this tool to do keyword research because if you are putting videos on YouTube, you should be creating videos that an audience, whatever your audience is, actually cares about. And there is some SEO research or search engine optimization research that goes along with that. So you can do SEO research here in vidIQ. Uh, you can also come up with new ideas and questions if you're not sure what to create for your next video. It's really good about that. Also gives you a bunch of different analytics and uh, shows you views per hour if you have a video that's trending. And I found this to be uh, very helpful when it comes to keyword research, coming up with ideas, creating good titles and descriptions for videos, and the list goes on and on. Um, but vidIQ is definitely a good option to consider if these are the types of things that you're looking for when creating your YouTube videos. As you know, titling a video is important, creating a description, all of your tags, and then also coming up with thumbnail ideas are kind of the next step in creating effective YouTube videos. And that's where this tool comes in. It's called Taja. Dot AI. I use this tool after I posted a video to YouTube and it's going to help me come up with title ideas. Uh, it's also going to create a description, some tags, and uh, down here at the bottom, it will create an idea to create a thumbnail. Now, I use this tool in conjunction with vidIQ to research and title my videos. So, uh, you know, if I like 
the description that vidIQ produces, I can use that. I can use the description that Taja AI produces, or I can combine the two. But either way, now I have two very dependable resources that I can pull ideas from before posting a video. The big one is saving time when it comes to creating clips from your YouTube videos, and that's where Opus comes in for me. I've been using this tool for a while now. I have to say, Opus continues to improve on this tool over time, and they're releasing new functionality. It's, it feels like weekly, sometimes daily. So what you do is once your video on YouTube is finished processing, meaning that the uh, highest quality version of your video is available, and uh, in my case, that's 4K, I wait till it has fully processed 4K footage on the channel, and then I'll share the link here in Opus, and what it's going to do, it's going to create vertical clips that I can use um, from the video and I can use that content for my social media channels. Now, uh, sometimes, depending on the length of your video, let's say, for example, it gives you 20 different vertical clips. Um, I actually go through all the clips. Some of them I don't use, a lot of them I do use, but there is a little bit of extra work that goes into selecting clips that are usable for social media. You can also add captions directly here in the tool. You can edit in here, you can change the camera view in the edit. Uh, it's just becoming more and more flexible. A great tool to use if you want to create vertical video clips from any video that you post on YouTube. And the final tool I'm going to cover today is Canva. So this is a design tool. I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with it. Uh, but they are incorporating more and more AI functionality into this tool, uh, which helps to make my workflow more efficient, like removing the background, uh, removing people or things from images. You can actually use AI to remove an image entirely and replace it with a new one and uh, all sorts of different things that are super useful. Now I use Canva to create thumbnail images for my YouTube videos in addition to other graphic design type work that I do personally or for my clients. So that is definitely another tool to consider. There you have it, the AI tools that I am using right now. If I missed any, be sure to leave them down in the description below. I'm always looking to integrate new tools that help improve my workflow. And uh, thanks as always for tuning in. Before you go, hit the thumbs up below if you like this video and I invite you to subscribe. I'll be putting a new video out uh, on a weekly basis. So until then, take care and I'll see you in the next video.